It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool. You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, sometimes, I bring you a tool, a tool that I use here in this shop or that I have featured on this channel. Oh, all right, so today we're talking cutoff wheels. I'm sure everybody knows about cutoff wheels, uh, death wheels as they call them sometimes. These are uh, very useful in the shop, right? You can cut through stuff, you can get stuff done. These have some downfalls though, and I'm gonna show you a new version of the cutoff wheel. So this week's tool is the Diablo cutoff wheel, but not your standard cutoff wheel. So this is not an abrasive cutoff wheel. I guess it kind of is, but this is made of metal with a diamond tipped outer edge. Now I've used this thing in the shop a good bit because I wanted to try it out and make sure that it was, you know, worth having as a, you need this tool. This, their claim to fame on this piece, and there's actually other brands too, not just Diablo, but their claim to fame on this particular one is 100x life compared to a standard abrasive cutoff wheel. Now we'll tell you I've used this thing a bunch on the new COVID coupe build, uh, cutting those mini tubs and doing a bunch of stuff. So I've definitely put it through its paces and I will say that it lives up to the hype. Now there are some downfalls to it. I'll go over those in a bit compared to like a standard abrasive wheel, but there's also a lot of pros or upside to using something like this versus something like this. Let's start with cost. So let's talk about cost. So these, so this is, uh, let's see what I got here. This is the Gator and a Dewalt cutoff wheel that I have here in the shop. These, these things range anywhere from, I don't know, two to four bucks a piece, I guess. So these are 16th of an inch thick. I think they're both 16th of an inch thick. So this one says 045. I don't know what that comes out to. It's probably right about a 16th. They're about the same size. These are four and a half inch discs, which is also what this is. And this is the same thickness as these, maybe even a little bit thinner than these. Now the Diablo version, what I'm featuring here, is about $21, $20, you know, plus or minus a little bit. And when you're talking two to four dollars a piece for these versus, you know, twenty dollars for these, there is a difference. Now, they say this has a hundred X life compared to one of these. If you do the math on that. This thing's worth 200 bucks compared to $2 or 400 bucks compared to $4. There are also other reasons though why this is so much better. One of those is that if you've ever used a cutoff wheel, you know, when you first put a brand new cutoff wheel in there, it's great, right? You got plenty of depth, you can cut stuff, you can reach in those corners with that blade. The problem is, is when they start to wear down, you know, and they get, you know, half the size or whatever, they start to get a little bit small and it's hard to get them in those places to get things cut like you need to. That's one of the biggest advantages going to something like this where it's a steel wheel. The more you use it throughout its life, it never shrinks. It stays at the same size the entire time. It doesn't shrink like a standard cutoff wheel. I would say another advantage to one of these is not going to say it's not going to fly apart, but it's probably way less likely to chip off a chunk of it that goes flying across the shop or worse yet into you somewhere and that's why they call these death wheels uh, occasionally you get these things in a bind they're gonna like splinter into pieces they're gonna sling stuff you don't really have to worry about that with this now I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen but it's very very unlikely in my opinion that that would thing would come apart all right so now let's get into some of the downfalls that I have found uh, using one of these versus a standard cutoff wheel and that is cut speed so me personally I find that the abrasive wheels cut a little faster so these cut faster they take off more material than this this is just a little bit slower not not enough to really matter just enough where it's noticeable I guess is the best way to put it but let's go back to the pros, the pros is that way less dust. So 
So really all you're dealing with on this thing is the dust from the material you're cutting itself because this thing doesn't really shed any material versus these bad boys where as you cut through stuff, you're also you're getting dust from the metal you're cutting, but you're also getting dust from the wheel itself, which as you guys know, if you've used one of these, it makes a mess. So I guess in conclusion, I don't know, I guess what I'm saying is really you don't need these bad boys anymore. You just get you one or two of these things, you're good to go. They cut great. They don't shed particles. They're less likely to explode. They're gonna last a lot longer. They're gonna save you a lot more money. Uh, they do cut just a smidge slower, in my personal opinion. But there you go. The new and improved cutoff wheel from Diablo. Obviously, they make other brands. Like I always do, I'll drop you a link in the description to this particular cutoff wheel. You can go check it out for yourself. Um, you know, I suggest you get one, try it out, see what you think. Let me know. Do you? like the traditional style death wheels or are the new diamond tipped cutoff wheels your cup of tea all right guys there you go i'm back it's friday got a new tool for you as always thank you for joining me i'll see you guys some more this week it's friday fool